What's going on YouTube? And in today's video, we're going to be going over the top three certifications for defensive security that you want to get in 2023. Let's get into the video. So just a quick disclaimer. This is just my opinion. I am no expert. Um, I have my own set of beliefs, opinions, and experience, and I'm just giving that out to you. Um, so if there's something else that you're kind of thinking of taking, please don't let this list distract you from that. I still want you to be able to take um, the certifications that you think are gonna better further your path into security. So it's worth noting that this is for defensive security. These three certifications that we're gonna go through are focused on defensive security. Um, if you are somebody that's looking to get into uh, some kind of pen testing uh, or some type of red team work, then the, these certifications are still gonna help you. Okay, it doesn't matter, um, you know, if you're red or blue team, a lot of these uh, certifications are going to clash into one another. You're going to see this kind of stuff in the field no matter which way you go. Now, that being said, I am going to do a whole separate video of the top three certifications in offensive security. Um, so keep a lookout on for that and I will be posting that within the next few weeks or so. So I am gonna go through this list in a particular order um, from what I think that you should get first and then moving your way up into uh, the certification level difficulty um, just to improve yourself without jumping too far ahead and confusing yourself. Drum roll, let's get into the first certification. The first certification that I think is the most beneficial to someone going into defensive security in 2023 is, no, nah, I'm just checking with you. It's gonna be the Network Plus. So let's get into what the Network Plus offers and how it is taken, what you can score, and some of the costs associated with it. So the Network Plus is gonna be a 90 question exam. Now this is typically the max that the exam is gonna go up to. So you could have you know 70 or 80 questions on this exam. It all depends really. Um, this exam is gonna have some uh, PBR questions in it where you're gonna have to do some hands-on work. It's not as much as some of the other certifications on this list, but you will still see it. So for this exam, you're gonna have to pass with a 720 out of a 900 at the minimum. Obviously, I want you to do better than that, and um, it's okay if you don't. So the recommended experience for the certification is gonna be an A+. So that is the certification that comes before the Network Plus. Now, I just want to make another uh, quick comment on this. These are just recommendations. Um, if you're somebody who has some kind of background in IT, whether that be help desk or technician um, or a networking job in general, um, I wouldn't say that you necessarily need to get the A plus to take the Network Plus. Now, Please go at your discretion of what you think um, is the best option for you. Uh, I just want to point out that if you're somebody who isn't really familiar with this stuff, uh, these are just recommendations. So if you feel like you can um, navigate your way through the fundamentals of IT to get into the networking um, and the network plus, then by all means do it. So the cost associated with the certification um, is not bad at all. And this is why I love comp TIA. Um, they're really geared towards the new guy or new gal, and you're going to get low cost certifications, $350 as of March, 2023. Uh, that's incredible. I don't know um, if you have seen some of the certifications out there, but some of them go up, you know, a few thousand dollars. So that's really nice to see. Next, we'll get into some of what you'll learn with the Network Plus and also a study guide that I think would be helpful for you to uh, pass this exam. So let's go over and look at that. 
So some of the basic things we're going to learn here. You're going to learn how to uh, understand and maintain the network documentation. Um, this is really important. When you get into the field, there is going to be a lot of network documentation. Yes, in security, there's going to be a lot of network documentation. And you're going to have to understand how to read a network diagram of the infrastructure and how things are connected and how they are working and what VLANs they're running on and what interfaces they are running on. So this is important. Next, implement network techniques. Um, you're going to need to implement these techniques and um, this documentation that you go through. You need to Im implement these things as well. Um, so this is going to be good for you to learn with the Network Plus. I can't stress this one enough. Manage, configure, and troubleshoot. Um, at the heart of cybersecurity and IT in general is troubleshooting. Um, daily, you will uh, experience some type of troubleshooting where users are not being able to access IT the way that they want to um, or think that they should. So this is going to be great for you here. Now, as a study guide uh, reference, I'm going to go with the CompTIA Network Plus N10 dash zero zero eight which is just the current network plus uh, exam study guide so this can be found right on their website that's going to be my recommendation for this exam and let me just interject really quick if you're liking this content and you're liking this video maybe you're not a subscriber um, but you do like this video I want to do this to help people. Um, I want to do this to help people just like you that are watching this video. Uh, to make that possible, obviously, I need to have some type of a subscriber base uh, for one, and I need to uh, get some kind of support and likes on my video. So, I mean, if you guys could do that, it means the world to me. Thanks. So this next certification is no stranger to anybody and it's kind of the golden standard out there for what certification you should be going after when you're trying to get into security. It's going to be CompTIA Security Plus. Let's go into some of the requirements for the Security Plus. We'll kind of go into uh, the same things that we just did for the Network Plus and um, go step by step to see what you're going to be getting into uh, once you go for this certification. Come on. So this certification is going to be a max of 90 questions, um, just like the Network Plus. It's a max. You may get less. You may not get more. Uh, you're going to want to get a 750 out of a 900 on this exam. I personally scored a 792, I believe, on this exam. So anything over 750 is passing. Don't ever get discouraged on yourself for even if you got a 750. Nobody cares. It's just, did you pass or did you not pass? So the next thing is going to be that they're going to recommend some type of um, networking experience. In particular, obviously, they're pushing for the Network Plus. This, however, is the same concept as I told you before. It's not necessary, but it could work out good in your favor. Just my personal experience. I didn't personally need to take the Network Plus for the Security Plus, and that may be your uh, journey as well. So don't feel any type of way if you feel like you have your networking abilities up to par and that you don't need to particularly take the Network Plus in order to take this Security Plus exam. That being said, if you want to freshen up on your skills, you can always just take the, the uh, practice test for the Network Plus and just walk through some of the material without actually taking the exam. That's always an added benefit to do something like that. All right, so what are you going to learn with this exam? What are the, some of the things that they're going to go over and that you're going to acquire in order to take and pass this exam? As well as, again, some study guides that I suggest um, for this exam. So let's look into that now. So one of the first things here is you're going to learn how to monitor uh, security. You're going to learn um, what it looks like in, you know, your your bottom tier SOC level one um, or some type of uh, IT security specialist position. Um, you'll learn some of the tools that are being used today to monitor security. Um, and next, you're going to learn common attacks. 
um, and you're going to learn how to prevent them and mitigate them um, when you see these attacks being taken out on a network. Uh, this is highly important, obviously, for a company to know that you know how to uh, prevent and mitigate from uh, attacks that are out there on the Internet to protect their uh, infrastructure. So as an entry level um, cybersecurity professional, one of the main things you're going to be doing is identifying risk and responding to security events. Um, you need to learn what these um, risks look like, um, how companies identify and accept some of these risks, as well as responding to security events that are happening daily 24-7. The next thing I got here is my... Uh, personal opinion on the best study material for the Security Plus, and that's going to be Daryl Gibson's Security Plus study guide. You can get that down in my description. I'll link it in this video um, right to Amazon, so you can hop right on there and buy it right from there. Um, it's like thirty dollars or forty dollars. I'm not positive, but it's something around that range. It's going to really help you. So once you go into Amazon and you see this book, you're going to see it's 900 pages. So if you're like me, I'm not really a big reader. You know, I love to learn, but I would prefer not it not to be through reading and through some type of like video or something of that nature. Um, so if you are like that, just buckle your shoes up and just do it because the book's amazing. It's really going to help you get through it. Um, so. I just wanted to connect with you there and let you know, like, I wasn't a big reader either. Sometimes you got to do things that you don't really want to do if you want to get things that you've never had. So that's just uh, my advice there with that one. So the third and final certification is going to be the CompTIA CYSA Plus. CYSA Plus just stands for a Cyber Security Analyst. Um, this is going to be a great certification uh, for somebody who has already acquired a Network Plus, who understands networking, who is now jumping into the Security Plus and has passed it and has learned a broad um, landscape of security but really hasn't dived into a role. The size of Plus is really going to be able to allow you to dive into that analyst role and learn exactly what um, is done on a day-to-day -day basis. Now you may say, these are all CompTIA. CompTIA is great for beginners. That's why um, if they didn't meet what I consider as being, you know, a good certification for you guys, I wouldn't put it on here. Um, but I highly, highly recommend CompTIA when it comes to uh, beginner certifications, especially in defensive security. Um, so that's why this one also made the list. So let's get into some of the requirements for this exam, as well as some study material and things that you're going to learn. So some of you may not know this, but CompTIA and a lot of other companies will allow you to renew other certifications that are lower tier with a um, successful pass of one of the higher tier exams. So the size of plus is going to actually allow you to renew your security plus and your network plus. So say you get your network plus and then your security plus and here you are three years later and they're going to expire. Well, you can simply take your size of plus and it's going to renew the security and the network plus, which is just awesome for a lot of people who are actively in the field and really don't have all the time a day to study for two certifications. So just like the Security Plus, you're going to have to score at least a 750 out of a 900 on this exam. Uh, it's, it's definitely doable. Um, and this exam in particular, you're going to see more performance-based questions. What do I mean by that? Uh, that's just in layman terms. It's just realistic, um, applic applicable, hands-on questions. So for instance, you could... Um, configure a firewall ACL, which is an access control list, and um, or you can configure a NAT translation on a firewall. They're going to make you do something in some type of lab environment to ensure that you understand and know the concepts well enough that you can apply them. That's all that is. So this one, you're just going to get a max of 85 questions, which is a little bit less. Now, I don't think you're getting away easy on that one. It's a max of 85 questions because a lot of these are the performance-based questions. 
um, the experience level for this is just a step up. Now they would think that you should know the network plus or pass the network plus and know or pass the security plus. Um, for this one, I'm going to highly recommend that you at least are on a security plus by the time you take this. Um, just because I wouldn't want to see you get confused. All the power to you if you think that you can, you know, take the, the size of plus and not have your security plus under your belt that's awesome the reason that i advise against it is not because i don't think you're capable of it i think that all of you watching are capable of anything that you put your mind to the reason that i advise against it is because a lot of times when we're studying for a certification um it's easy to quit and it's definitely easy to quit when you're just way behind on the material. Um, if if they're talking about you know material in this um, size of plus that you have no understanding or concept of, you're gonna have to waste a lot of time going back to the security plus content and con trying to um, you know morph that into your learning for size. It's just gonna confuse you, and um, I don't think it's really the best path forward but like i said if you're dedicated and motivated enough um then go ahead and take it uh even if you don't have the security plus uh, more power to you so i just wanted to put that in there as a little bit of a disclaimer so this certification is going to be 392 dollars and again that's as of march 2023 which is not a bad price at all again especially for a higher um leveled certification like this one typically with certifications the higher in experience level um in advancement that you go you're going to see a larger cost associated with that so what are the, some of the things that you're going to be learning here so you're going to learn how to acquire threat detection techniques um, there are a lot of different tools um, and softwares out there for threat detection um, you'll get to learn some of that and how it's applied in today's world. You're also going to get to analyze some data. And that's really everything in security. In security, analyzing data is the foundation. I mean, all the traffic that comes through our desk uh, that we have to be on the lookout for for any type of malicious behavior is all data that we're analyzing. So it's highly important that you really understand that concept. And that's why they put it in this exam, because an analyst needs to know that. And that's what's great about this. You're digging down a little bit deeper in this certification. It's not as broad as the Security Plus. Now, once you analyze that data, you're going to come across some vulnerabilities. Um, you're going to come across some things that are not patched correctly, and you're going to learn in this certification how to address those vulnerabilities. Now, for this study material, I have already went through some of these videos, and they're great. And Jason Dion's just always great in general uh, with teaching certifications um, and the flow of his education. So it's going to be Jason Dion's uh, CYSA Plus videos, and you can find it cheaper on Udemy. Um, a lot of times it'll go down to like, you know, under $20, which is, which is great. And then even further in that, you can also get his practice tests on there. So that's it, guys. That's going to be the three certifications that I'm recommending for somebody coming into defensive side of security in 2023. Um, I hope you love this video, uh, and I really wanted to, you know, um, put some type of content out here for folks that have seemed to be uh, struggling with the certifications that they think that they should get. I remember being there, so I just wanted to add some guidance here. I had a few subscribers request this, uh, so I, I really hope that I nailed this one and you know it's really helped you a lot. And don't worry, if you're somebody who's trying to get into the red team side of security um, with some type of junior penetration testing role, I'm going to be putting out a video of the top three certifications in 2023 for an offensive security professional. Um, so keep a lookout on for that video as well. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I look forward to reading down in the comments uh, some things that you have learned that you maybe didn't know before I put this video out um, and talking with you guys. It's always great. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be on the lookout for more content.